Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Mercy, and today's video we are going to be unboxing our summer FabFitFun box. This is a seasonal subscription box that retails for $49.99 and it comes seasonally, so four times a month. This month, of course, here in New England anyways, it is summer, I am so excited. FabFitFun box is by far, this is not sponsored, is by far my favorite subscription box. I have not been let down by any of the boxes or felt like it was not worth what I paid for the products that I got. And they're trying a new thing where you can boost your box. I believe it's an additional $19.99 per month and you can choose what you would like to boost your box with. Um, I forget what the other options are admittedly for the summer box. I know that there is a face mask and hand sanitizer option, which is cool, um, especially if you're somebody like me that works in the healthcare field and those things are a meal in a haystack. Um, so I thought that that was cool. I cannot remember what the third thing was. Um, and then the last thing and the thing that I chose is the Too Faced two products from the Too Faced Hangover line. I'm going to unbag these off of camera because my mic is right here and I would rather you not be deaf. So, so the first thing in the little duo is the Hangover 3-in-1 Prime Set and Refresh Spray. I have never tried this product. I know it's a tried and true for a lot of people. Um, I believe in one of my previous videos here, if not, maybe I didn't post that video, maybe I threw it away. I'm not sure. I digress. Um, I tried the primer and it was a sample, so, and I didn't like the smell of it. I'm not sure how the smell is here. I am sensitive to smells and I feel like when the majority is like, I love this smell, it's the best thing in the world. There's like a little old me over here and I'm like, I hate this smell, it's atrocious. So I, I don't know what's wrong with my sniffer, but I tend to not like what the majority likes and not because I'm edgy or cool, just because I'm weird. So there's that. Um, but you, it is a full size product, so that's pretty cool. Um, I just wanna get the... Okay, so I stand corrected. This actually smells really lovely right now anyways. I'm not sure if maybe the primer was older. i would had that sample for a long time, so maybe it had turned on me. The consistency felt fine, but the scent was just very unpleasant. But this is, this does indeed smell like coconuts. So if you're somebody that's also sensitive to smell in the way that it really affects the sensitivity of your skin and irritates your skin, that is something to bear in mind. One thing that Too Faced does that I could live my entire life without, um, and they're not alone in this, so I'm not trying to pick on them, but they sexualize product names and I hate that. I am not here for that. I am here for beauty products. So I don't, I don't love that. I don't love that. Uh, and again, they're not the only brand that does it. So I'm not coming for Too Faced um, or not picking on Too Faced, I should say, but I don't, I don't like names that are like inappropriate in nature. It's like, golly. This is the Too Faced Ultra Replenishing Hydrating Serum um, and it's called Good in Bed. I assume that means that it's somebody who gets a solid eight hours of sleep and practices proper sleep hygiene before they go to bed. That is what good in bed means. That's hyaluronic acid. Again, this also has coconut water. So if you're somebody who has a sensitivity to coconut or coconut water, uh, please bear that in mind. Dragon fruit and vitamin B5. Um, so I'm not, I, again, as, as we've seen in my other videos, I have a plethora of skincare. I did choose this and I am aware of that. Um, I'm just not sure if I will keep it or not, um, but it says that it's supposed to be soothing and it's supposed to help your skin glow. So I'm excited about it. I think this is a newer product from their Hangover RX line. So that's pretty cool that we got these two products for $19.99 in this box. The first thing we got in our box, super excited about, but I did choose to get the cooler. This is all flattened out because it's I haven't obviously used it so I've been waiting to do this video um but it is a yellow cooler and it is by business and pleasure co I've never heard of them but I thought that this cooler was nice um it has like a little pocket in the front again it's not doing a great job of like standing itself up here um because I haven't used it or anything it does have a strap and then it has this um little doodad it has that's the insulated inside so it'll keep your cool things cool um I love the lake I love the beach so I thought that this would be a really great addition to my um ability to be able to go successfully to the beach or the lake with drinks and snacks in hand so super excited about this so the next thing that we got was a weird weird addition this is like one of those things I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad at it um, it's just like kind of random, um, but I also know that these are trendy right now. So this is by the brand Silk, and it's a satin pillow sleeve. And so what is so unique about this is that I don't know if you can see in the pictures here, but it doesn't completely cover the pillow. So it's not a normal pillow case. Um, so it doesn't have the ends. And then on the bottom, it's not that satin material. It's um, a microfiber material so that it will be, won't slip around on you basically. Um, so I got the color gray. Um, and then on the back is that, that microfiber Actually, it's it called it a microfiber, but really it's like a jersey cloth. Um, so that's interesting, but I digress. So it's supposed to not slip around and it's supposed to fit a standard clean or cane pillow. So 
The next thing in the box, I think is probably the thing that I'm the most excited about. Again, I did get to choose this. The pillowcase I did not get to choose, which is okay. Um, but this is the Mason Home Scent Collection. Um, and this is the Solstice Diffuser. Um, so it's supposed to smell like bergamot, vevetier, uh, geranium, and patchouli. So you get this little vase. It is like a bronze color. Um, and then you get your scent diffuser business and you get your reeds and so you would just pour this into there and then um obviously untape your reeds and put it in there i'm really excited about this um i'm probably honestly going to keep it in this room um maybe i'll do my bedroom i'm not sure because i do have an oil diffuser in here too and i just got some new oils from a different um, subscription box so we will see but I'm, I'm happy about that i did again i chose this so super happy about it next thing in our fat fun box for summer i did choose this as well is by the brand kula they are cruelty free and vegan and this is their this is their mineral face sunscreen and it comes in a matte finish it's sheer non-greasy fast absorbing absorbing and plant protection this is in spf 30 um it alleges that it is water resistant for up to 80 minutes my box came a little kerfuffled but that's okay we don't we don't judge so um this is all the items in this box are full size, um, but this is what the full size item looks like. And again, I will include a uh, link to these products down below. I'll of course um, include a link to FabFitFun if that is something that you would like to try out. It says that it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, reef-friendly, which is something that I wouldn't have necessarily known um, to be mindful of. So that is cool. And I'll have to do some more research on that. Um, and then it says farm to face and antioxidant enriched. So that is cool. Fragrance free, dermatologist tested and non-GMO. I'm excited to try this. Um, I don't think I've ever tried like such an organic product for sunscreen. So I'll be interested to see how it, um, you know, how it works, especially in comparison to some of my less earth and environment friendly products, but I won't really wanted to try this brand. Um, but they are very expensive for my price point. So super excited about that. The next product I did not choose, but I'm very excited about because actually maybe I did choose, I'm not sure, but um, I don't remember choosing, I should say, but it is by Winky Lux and it's their Universal Brow. Um, these types of products are always like kind of a mystery to me because I struggle to understand how somebody of my complexion is going to use the same tone, same color, same undertone as somebody of a different ethnic background. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Somebody with a darker skin tone than me, somebody with a lighter skin tone than me. How are we all going to use the same brand product? Not really sure. This is what it looks like. So it's a little bit of a chubbier um, applicator. I don't know if you're going to be able to see here, but it's like a triangle shape. It's a little bit thicker, so it's not quite as fine pointed. Um, it has the standard spoolie here at the end. So there's a terrible swatch right there. Um, it looks like it is a bit, maybe I put too much pressure, but it looks like it's going to be a bit dark. It looks like it's a brown. Um, mm. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel like it's exceptionally waxy either or stiff. It does, it feels like a pretty standard brow product. Again, a little worried about the universal, but I, ironically, I just ran out of all of my brow pencils. I'm not sure how I did that, how I'm out of all of my brow pencils at the same time, but here we are. Here we are. So I'm happy to have received that in my box. I'll give it a go. I'm not convinced it's going to be my favorite product, but I'm hoping that it won't be my worst product ever. So next product in my box, I got the sponge gel hand cream and I got the scent coconut verbana. Um, this is another one of those products that I did not choose. Um, I'm not mad about this. Typically I would not be super happy with a hand moisturizer in a box. It wouldn't be just my favorite item. However, with everything going on in the world, especially with trying to reduce um, cross contamination with germs and um, constant hand washing and constant hand sanitizing, it um, is proven that you're going to have better luck with those things and you're going to have a better chance of not receiving other people's germs and spreading your germs to other people if your hands are moisturized. So I think that this was a thoughtful product, um, just the, in the same way that they offered the um, face masks and the hand sanitizer. I think that including a hand cream at a time like right now was a thoughtful and sensitive thing to do. So I'm not mad about it. Um, I'm not sure, again, like if these boxes are like pre-planned like way in advance so they had no idea or if um you know they did it very thoughtfully but i'm gonna lean towards the thoughtful just because i like to think that these brands and companies and people in general are well-intentioned so i'm excited about it and i like the coconut science so that's exciting too all right the second to last product we got is a makeup sponge and this is by makeup drop so it's a hybrid sponge i haven't opened it yet so why don't we go ahead and do that so it looks like a pretty standard sponge except for this part that is, it feels like a silicone-y texture. It's very unique. Um, I'm not sure, let's see, does it tell us like why they would do such a thing? Silicone for sculpting and outlining, sponge for flawless airbrush finish. 
So it says to apply a small amount of product directly to the silicone side. Dab, draw, or sculpt makeup onto your face and blend out the edges with the sponge side. I had a smile. Um, oh, that was cute. So I'm curious to try this. I enjoy getting new beauty products in my FabFitFun boxes. This is kind of a unique one. I've never tried anything like this. Um, both the silicone and the dual. I don't think I've even tried like just a plain silicone sponge. So this is a unique product. It does feel pretty squishy, pretty soft, pretty nice. So I'm excited to try this out. The last thing in our box um, for the summer box is by Grace and Stella and it says say hi to hydration and it is a hyaluronic acid serum. They report that they are cruelty free and vegan. So that's cool beans. Um, hyaluronic acid is known to be good for those of us with dry skin. So my skin is typically combo dry, um, leaning towards the dry side. However, in the summertime, I do sweat a lot. So um, this probably won't be my cup of tea perhaps in the summertime. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a glass bottle, full top. Um, it exploded everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, oh, let's see. A little annoying when your serum, especially serum, because it like gets everywhere and it makes everything really slick and gross. Um, a little annoying when it does that, but I think that this will be good, um, especially in the summer, the summertime especially in the winter time when my skin really struggles with being able to maintain hydration. Um, the other option of course that I have is passing this along to one of my friends or to one of you. So I think I'm going to think it over. I'm not sure that I need to keep it. I've gotten a lot of serums as of late, especially in my subscription boxes. So, um, I'm not sure about that. Overall, I'm really happy with my FabFitFun box. Let me know down below if you guys subscribe to FabFitFun. What's your favorite subscription box? What items did you choose? Again, what I really love about FabFitFun is the ability to customize your products um, and the ability to have add-ons. I was really happy with my boost options as well. Let me know if you did the boost. It would mean a lot to me if you guys did enjoy this video. If you would give it a thumbs up and follow me for more content. Thank you so much for being here. It really means the world to me. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> The Too Faced Ultra Pre- Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop.